Hello, welcome to our Corn User Group 2023. My name is Imre Egei, CICD Solution Architect at Nokia Core Networks. Today I will present you a demo about intent-based config automation. Nokia is aware of telco operators' daily necessary network configuration change activities, which are needed to satisfy business needs. One of such daily activities, fine-tune, maintains several hundreds of rooming agreements. We would like to demonstrate how GitOps-based intent management can help our customers to maintain more efficiently and without human errors those rooming agreements. Our in demo includes two use cases. First, we will switch on handover between two mobile networks via intent management framework. Then we will demonstrate how intent management is able to correct human errors via GitOps-based reconciliation loops. This demonstrates that Git server-based information means the single source of truth for all rooming agreements. Let me introduce our intent management setup. The single source of truth of a network configuration is a Git-based release management system, which delivered by Nokia NCD, but can also be in customer existing Git system. Initial deployment, so-called day zero operation, happens also from Git, but our demo focus on already operational system config change day two. Nokia Intent Management has two building blocks. The Intent Processor, which understands customer high-level declarative intent wish and translates to network element configurations, like an interpreter. Another part is the config delivery, which is connected via NetConf interface to every network element and does necessary modifications and monitors the network elements configurations periodically. Now on the left hand side of the screen, we can see the Git user interface uh, and on the right hand side, the Nokia AMF product command line interface. For the sake of simplicity, we just expose some of rooming parameters in high level intent level and those are the parameters which can be changed by the operator personnel. Modific modification of those parameters happened via Git user interface, so we just activate inter element handover on Git UI, and the committed changes on the Git go via the Git webhook to the in previously mentioned intent processor. Intent processor does the conversion of that intent to real network element config changes and create config changes. Those config changes triggered via another webhook to the config delivery components, which make the config change on the network element. As validation, you can see on the right hand side that on Nokia AMF CLI, the inter PLM and handover value get the right. Another very important aspect to demonstrate is how intent management can fix human errors. Someone by mistake deactivate the inter PLM and handover via AMF CLI in the right hand side of this picture using traditional AMF CLI commands. As the config delivery components is periodically polling the network element configuration, it realized that there is a difference between the Git-based single source of truth data and the network element. Hence, revert the value to the Git-based one. This called reconciliation process. Now we are coming to the end of the demo. There are three facts I would like you to take into consideration. For one, intent management minimizes the effort of day two configuration changes. Second, it maintains a single plane of glass for all time actual network configurations. Third, it reduces the potential of human errors. All in all, it allows more flexibility to automate, customize, and monetize the network. Thanks for your attention.